Hey guys, crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. Legends of Tomorrow is back, Aaron. Oh, forgot about that song. Last time on Legends of Tomorrow, Aliens! Arrow! And before that, the Spear of Destiny. Remember that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they captured the Spear of Destiny. Wait. Was it the Al Capone episode? Yes, it was. They didn't capture it, they just talked about it, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Which was used to kill Moby Dick, right? Jesus. I'll leave it in. I'll do that well. <laughs> um, it was the spear used to pierce the side of Christ to make sure he was dead. Oh. Okay. Um, well, they can do that. I forget. Well, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of stories have it having a lot of power. Okay. Well, then the nails that they use should be really powerful, right? Probably. You're just chucking those things like silver daggers. Like or daggers? Yeah. I guess so. You probably kill anything with those. Yeah, and you can use the wood from the cross. Yeah. And then you have like really awesome wood Stein has a daughter now and he's like I love her so much which is awesome I like oh, yeah. that yeah. we have Sarah kind of conflicted because Malcolm is what was in the show and he was like I'll go get Laurel and we'll have a good time or something like that but then Laurel fucking showed up in Arrow that's tomorrow we gotta figure out what's going on there yeah, well, that's gonna, no, no. yeah mm-hmm. I'm, I'm excited for I her I don't know what's that yeah. uh, um, fuck they know, all know now about the Barry message and, yes. And I don't know if they know about the armor necessarily, but... But we did see Mr. Hunter again at the very end of that Oh, episode. directing a TV show. Or a movie or something about himself. Yeah. A lot of people were saying, like, they think that, that he's trying to reach out to the legends. Like, hey, a movie that never existed before about a man named Rip Hunter was made right here. Here oh I am. Oh, my gosh. If he reaches, them at, reaches out to them using movies... Yeah. I'm going to be excited. That's awesome. going to be fun. I don't think we had a pull for last time. Nope. Six months ago. Underwater. Underwater. Oh, wait. Wait, wait see where Rip went. Ah! Yeah. Ah! What is that, Captain? There's something's getting I can't Is that the spirit? He has it? What, what was that? It, like, shoots him out. They got him off the ship. He got off. Didn't they shoot everyone out randomly anyway? They all got off. What if he's actually talking so, to, like, if you a disembodied snark? I hope not. Snark. He's an asshole. So what? He's scary. I love it. Oh! Mine and I were trying to sleep. But not together. What are you doing up so late? She's with me. What the Legion of Doom wants with those two ambulances? Legion of Doom. The Legion of Doom. Dark Merlin and the Speedster. It's from a Hanna Barbera cartoon I liked when I was a kid. Oh, so, that's awesome. The sphere is also known as the Holy Lands or the Spear of Destiny. Hey, hold on. This all just sounds like an Indiana Jones movie. Yeah. <laughs> the Lost Ark is the reason I became a historian. Did you know that? Okay, so well, this spear allegedly has the power to rewrite reality. Well, how's that different from us traveling through time and making changes to history? Changes to history cause time quakes and aberrations which we can undo. Changes to reality, however, those are permanent. Mm. Wallets. Now. What? Just give us your motorcycles. Excuse me? Give us the bikes and we'll let you live. What are you, some sort of comedians or something? <laughs> oh, something. Oh shit. So we're just supposed to walk around until we see a sign that says this way. Good idea. <laughs> Legend of Legends. Do not misquote Tastis to me. I knew him well. Cut, please. Alright, cut. That's awesome. I just need to think. That's exactly like George Lucas. George. Thesis film is doing less than a month. I know, I know, but yeah, these are these are great props. Did you make these yourselves? Hey, we are on something of a clock here. Oh my god, it's Rip. Don't worry, we got you, Rip. Does he know? Who the hell are you guys? We don't have time for this. Oh shit, George! Run, George! Don't shoot him. The, we, we need him. He would change the entire world. Everything. Yeah, we wouldn't have legends. We wouldn't have fun with shit. Did Merlin and, and them just run away? Uh, ah, shit, the cops! The supervillains? I think so. Did they randomly just have George Lucas in this? Because that's exactly how he looks when he was in school, you know? 
Did you s Bam! Poof. It got me! Doom time. The Legion's here. Can I help you? Oh man. Such Damn, a good man, just straight up stabbed him. Fantastic cut. Uh, shit. Oh, what's that? Oh, shit, shit, shit. What are they shooting at? They shot like 20 feet away. Also, want you to work on figuring out um, a way to reverse the effects uh, on Rip since you came in contact with the. Um, Time drive. What's going on with him? I've brought up the time drive schematics for you, no Dr. Music. Palmer. <laughs> well, how do you expect me to understand any of that? Uh, maybe using one of your four PhDs? Yeah, Rip, he had a problem remembering stuff, too. What's wrong? Um, how long have the two of you been feeling like this? Since, uh... Film, 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 film set. Film set. Film set. Glucus. Wait, isn't that what you pretend you're allergic to, right? Glucus. G. Lucas? Oh, my goodness. Gideon? George Lucas on the historical what? Record. George Lucas, born in Modesto, California on May 14th. Something changed and they never got Star Wars. And they were never inspired. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah. That's brilliant. That's why they're not smart. What are we doing here? Okay, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> timeline, Dr. Palmer sees Star Wars as a child and is inspired to become an inventor. Likewise, Dr. Hayward chooses to be a historian after seeing Indiana Jones instead of becoming a young man. Oh my god, it's so good. Wait, we need to fix this now. <sighs> yes! Oh my god. As of today, George Lucas is no longer enrolled in film school. Oh my god, it's such, they it's so George fucking Lucas. good. That would change so much. Yeah. So what is this, uh, 13 years or so before Star yeah, Wars? 77. They're in 60 something, aren't they? 65 or something like that? No! Oh my god, they just had a tension ridden score under George Lucas leaving school. The only one who George is like, oh yeah, I love this. There is. school. <laughs> I'm sorry about my. I don't care about movies. But guys like them. They do. Looking right at us, see that? So you get she turned around, looked right at the camera. Nest, the future of the entire world is at stake, and you're our only hope. <laughs> you're our only hope. I'm like tearing up. It's so good. Ah, uh, you're our only hope. And she doesn't. That wasn't no, a reference. She has no her. idea. Your former partner was killed when the Oculus exploded in a blast of temporal energy. Now, if Mr. Snart was able to bond with that blast, uh, the version of him you're now seeing could be, um, uh, how, how would I put this? Like a, uh, time ghost. Precisely. So what you're saying is Snart's stuck up there, blasted into a billion pieces, floating around and in you gotta space. put him back together. Well, a He's gone. way of looking at it, but, yes. You're an idiot. I just had this old piece of wood. I thought it'd be a cool movie prop. Where is it? Uh, I gave it to my prop master, George. Oh. Did you just throw in the garbage? Hey. George Lucas has a spear of destiny. <laughs> Where's the city dump? Where's the oh rebel base? God, Where is the rebel base? Where is the city dump? What? what the hell are you doing? Brain surgery. What does it look like? <laughs> Whatever. You are not about to it's throw a trash, trash compactor. compactor. You are not about to throw George into a trash compactor. <laughs> oh my god! Is there a Dianaga in there? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! oh. What was that? Oh, the way better itself. Oh, oh fuck, dude! <laughs> <laughs> oh. You should punch him with his other hand. Right. Grod! No, Gorilla. 
She causes the attack. <laughs> oh shit. Damn. But reverse flash, we're seeing shit. Fuck Aaron, fuck! Who do we kill first? That would be me. What, Punter? Does he remember? That hair? Shit. Shit. Oh, oh. Where's the spear? George Lucas still has it. Does he or did he give it to them? I can't believe I just said that. Where's the spear? George Lucas still has it. <laughs> I discovered that the device hasn't functioned in months. Hmm. It seems you've taken one too many blows to the head. So I am going crazy. Hmm. Oh wait, this one sounds cute. It's called Howard the Duck. No. <laughs> okay. Maybe moving night wasn't such a good idea. I can't believe this is happening to me. You're gonna torture me, aren't you? Malcolm. Oh, Malcolm Bay. And. Alright. <sighs> Poor Rip. What a silly and wonderful episode. Dude, I loved it. This is my favorite episode, I think, so far. Dude, they gave him all the inspiration for Star Wars, did they not? Yeah. The, your only hope. I'm gonna ask you this, and your life depends on it. Where yeah. is the city dump? <laughs> Where is the city dump? <laughs> yeah, and it's like the in the trash compactor and trying to stop it and stuff. And <laughs> I want to direct, bro. You know, it's so great. I, I don't know what to say about it. Like, legit, if Star Wars never existed, yeah, if George back in time would have just, I don't want to direct anything. There would have been no Star Wars. There would have been no Mass Effect. You never would have met Shane because of Bioware, because they made a Star Wars game that put them on the map to give them Mass Effect. You guys never would have met. Me and you never would have met. Blind and Wave would never have existed. We would never would have done a lightsaber fight. How would things with like you and Shane back in the day would have been without Star Wars and stuff? I feel like there's a chance that me and Shane might have still met. Because we still have other interests. Other than Star Wars. Would some of those interests still exist without Star Wars? Probably not. So that's a thing, too. Like, what all would have happened yeah. without Star Wars being a thing? There would definitely be like, no blind way. Movies, I don't feel like would be where they yeah. are if it wasn't for Nothing. Star Wars. They couldn't be a Legends of Tomorrow. They literally couldn't do the effects they do now if those effects weren't pioneered by George Lucas. Well, yeah. And well, ILM. His, doesn't his... Wasn't there creators from their like effects team made like Adobe and that kind of stuff, and they kind John of modernized. Noel, John Noel, yeah, they modernized Adobe. visual effects where now it's like a lot cheaper. They made it cheaper and easier. Yeah, I mean, if George Lucas wasn't like, I need to have fifteen ships on screen attacking the Death Star, going through a trench, and they're like, well, How are we gonna do this? Well, how we do that? And he's like, I trust you guys will figure it out. <laughs> like, okay, all right. It's something I never expected, but it was so cool. It's something I never it. expected, but like in if I'm looking through the course of history, like the people that have changed the world, George Lucas has legitimately changed the changed the world. Not only because of his successful movies and stuff, but I mean the man donated like two billion dollars to charity. You know, I don't know what to say. Like yeah. I'm, I'm astounded by like I can't believe that I can't believe they did that. But then I get it works so well. I it works so well, that. but they're like okay, there's there's general. Uh, Ulysses S. Grant, that's what we can have. Yeah. We'll have Einstein. Einstein, that's a good one. Who else is really good in history? George have? Lucas. <laughs> but you know what? It's great about it. George Lucas gets so much fucking flack. I love that there's that this show is like, yeah, but without him, none of us are anything like we are now. You know? Yeah. Like, at all. Yeah. I love the idea that, like, well, I wouldn't have all my PhDs, and I wouldn't have made my suit, and I wouldn't have been able to make this serum to give him his yeah. powers. So, like, they just were, yeah. they were nothing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, hell, the show has referenced Star Wars so many times. Yeah. I mean, what is there? There's uh, two out of seven. Well, hell, I mean, we know that. Uh, I mean, it probably wouldn't have changed him too much, but Snart. Like, we leave for five seconds and you guys pick a fight with Boba Fett. Yeah. You know, like, we know that he's a Star Wars fan. Yeah, but like two out of seven that it affected. Yeah. That's still pretty good. Yeah. If you consider, like, percentage of, like, what effects it would have. Of... And that's just people not even, like in film industry or nothing. Mm -hmm. They're just people just inventing and being yeah. a historian and stuff. Like, that's not counting, like, the work he did with, like, you know, with Steven Spielberg doing, like, Raiders of the Lost Ark and... 
Which Lucas wrote. Yeah. Yeah. And like, what 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 else did he do? All, all kinds of stuff. I go like, how about we watch Howard the Duck? No. Yeah, not that. Not that. No, we're watching that. <laughs> I'm so curious to see what people were saying about this, like the Q and A's and stuff. Uh, okay, so we'll t- I'm sure we'll be talking about Lucas again later. Uh, the Legion of Doom. I like that little name drop of it. Yeah, the Hanna Barbera cartoon. I named it. From, yeah, from my, what? Yeah. So like, they have super friends. I think it's, his... it's just an Easter egg. Yeah. It, it's. The one thing about them, though, is I... Right now, they're just two guys in suits with guns. Like, I wish it were Malcolm Merlin as the Dark Archer, like, with arrows, to be a little more threatening. I kind of do wish that was the case, but maybe we're building up to that. Yeah. Because as of right now, they're just two guys, and then Reverse Flash, flash comes in and just fucks everything up. Yeah. Well, the way they had it this time is they were never facing anyone that had powers. Yeah. They had uh, Mick, Stein, and Sarah whenever they were trying to get Rip. Yeah. And they were just people. The most threatening one there, I guess, is Sarah. Yeah. You know? And then the next time, like, they had uh, Ray and Vixen, which they depowered her, and then the other ones didn't have their power or suit. So, yeah. like, every time they were running around this time, they just didn't have anything. But maybe next time, or as it goes on, like, maybe they'll give power to Dark again or something. I would, I would like, I just would like to have him feel threatening again. And, you know, they're, Malcolm Merlin in his suit, like, catching a... An arrow like this, you know? There's nothing more threatening than that yeah. to me, you know? The only thing, though, like, Dark... Dark seems so overpowered in arrows. Like, what are you going to do to him? That's... It'll him? be fun, though. I mean, Yeah, but the only way they defeated him was just to remove his power. Yeah. I don't know. Giving him too much power... Well, I mean, is... we could have a totem v. totem battle with Vixen. Yeah, but it's not the same power. So it's not exactly no. the same, but, I mean... I, I, just... I, I think that you can creatively write a way where you can... You know, just don't give him the that exact totem, because he's already going to get it. Maybe he gets something else where it's, it's you know, it's just well, something else. There's just a fine balance of, like, I don't find him very threatening. And then yeah. having it, we're like, well, now there's just nothing they can do. I get you. You know? But it's like, you know, it's... It's that Peter It's Patel like, uh, I love Stein and I love Jax, but I really love it when they're Firestorm. Yeah. But, but they half the time, up. they're split up and it's never like, oh, fire. Okay, so Vixen and Firestorm are here. It's like, no, it's like Vixen and Jax. Jax runs in, gets his ass beat by Malcolm, you know? I would like to be able to have, like... It feel like the Dark Archer and feel well, like... Well, yeah, like, hey, we have an emergency dark. going on. We gotta get this done. Well, yeah. I'm gonna do brain surgery. Yeah. Right now? I know. We need both of you. All hands on deck. Get Firestorm in here. Were you disappointed at all with that? With? With Snart it not being a real thing? Or is that a red herring? And it actually is? I don't know. I mean, I'm not... I feel like it'd be a strange it's... thing to bring up if it wasn't. It's always good to have stakes. Yeah. So, like, just bringing everybody back all the time, which Arrow is very guilty of. True, but the way they killed him... I mean, he died in a time explosion. I mean, immediately after it happened, I was like, okay, he's got to come back somehow. You know? Like, if he was just shot in the head and then died, I'd be like, okay, he's, he's dead. But this, the, the manner in which he died, I always felt like there was a way for it to happen, you know? But the constant tease is what gets me. The tease, Aaron. You'd rather him just be gone? No no little, like... In a way, I guess. Because, I mean, we had the tease in, in Flash already this season, and now we're having this tease here. I think it was just a matter of, like... I, I think that they like redeemed his character, and then they're like, "Well, we need to, we still need to have him show up somehow." We I do that don't with flash with this. How are we gonna do that with legends? Well, let's have Mick talk to him. Well, here's the thing, because we had him actually talking, and we saw him last time. This time, I feel like production-wise, story-wise, just the way you would write a story and how they would produce this thing, if there was nothing there, and we're never gonna see that again, they wouldn't have had it here. Well, when they don't have Snart on screen. Yeah. That makes sense. A lot of it could also be like, hey, we really need Schofield. You know what I mean? He can't be in Legends very much right now because we really need... So you guys have Mick and do this, and then we need them for this. All right, well, we'll write this way so that we can work around that. Because of Prison Break Season 5 happening. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I'm interested to see what's going to happen there. Um, It could just be that. It could (laughs) just be that. They're like, well, we'll try to bring it back Season 3. Yeah. (laughs) Uh... Rip's movie... Legends? Legends. It, it, it came from a uh, subconscious part of him, right? Is what they were saying? Yeah, like his memories were gone because of that weird time touchy loop. Yeah, thing that well, they, they didn't... touched the time drive directly, which you can't do, apparently. It's bad. Yeah. It's like crossing the streams. Mm-hmm. It might be bad, or it could work out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, he had he had the Spear of Destiny. It's about the Spear of Destiny, but he also had Vandal Savage in it. Yeah. Just a villain that he had in his head, you yeah. know? Yeah. Like, Vandal, I mean, Vandal Savage, Savage was... would be around 
during the time of the, the killing of Christ, you know? Could we see Vandal again? They said there's multiple parts of this spear, too. Yeah, well, they it said about... It's possible. They also said that Rip was one of the protectors of the spear. Yeah. So it's like, well, who are the other protectors? Yeah. Like, it'd be neat to see, like, people from comics and stuff like that. They'd be like, oh! I'm saying there's a possibility that we could see Vandal again. Like, maybe that's like an Easter egg or something in there to show, like, oh, okay, yeah, he's making a movie. But then they said, like, the movie is actually about real things. You know, which maybe it was a prologue. I don't know, but I thought it was interesting. Maybe it's a possibility of being able to see Vandal again, which I, I don't want to be fun. It would be so much I don't fun. want to. It'd Unless be so he's, much I don't know, if he joins matter. with the, the Doom, Legion of Doom, yeah, he's just another guy who just didn't, he was... He couldn't die. Unthreateningly threatening. Yes. <laughs> so, I don't know, you know what I mean? He's another yeah. one who had, like, no powers, but, like, he always got away and he's, always did He was this good with knives. I guess. No, I get you. That's why I want, like, Dark Archer there. I want Malcolm Merlin there and, you know, Reverse Flash and, you know, fucking go, go get fucking... Who else could they get? Dude, I love, like, I love the Psycho Rangers. Do you know what I'm talking about, Psycho Rangers? No. In, in Power Rangers, they had a moment when uh, they created the Psycho Rangers, and they were the alternate bad guys that had similar powers to the Power Rangers. Yeah. I want that from, like, the Legion of Doom. Like, I want to have, like, similar power from them and the others so that we can actually have a fight rather than just one team just dominates the other team. Yeah. With with the Psycho Rangers, it was it was cool, and they also they brought him back later on when they had a uh, a team up with two. So you had like two Blue Rangers fighting the Blue Psycho Ranger, like working together because they were a lot. They were not a lot, but they were stronger than sure. one Ranger by themselves. I get you. So like, I would love to have like a balance. If they can do that, I'm okay with them bringing in some other people. I just last season with Vandal Savage is just I was like he doesn't he's not threatening. Do we anything. talked about that the yeah. entire time. Now, if you could pick some people to come into the Legion of Doom. Trickster. Like, Trickster could bring some cool stuff. Weather Wizard. Weather Wizard could bring some cool things. Like, uh... Killer Frost? Deathstroke. Deathstroke? Like, he... Like, he has, like, no more power sources than, like, Malcolm Merlin. Yeah. But he's threatening and he seems dangerous. You know what I mean? King Shark. Grodd. Grodd. I mean, Grodd was in the Legion of Doom, wasn't he? Yeah. Like, have him and Vixen fighting? Yeah. That could be cool. We have a Lex Luthor on Supergirl's Earth. Yeah, that's basically Damien Dark right now. Kind of. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Unless he had a suit. Yeah, he has no suit yet. I just thought it'd be cool to like think about different characters to bring in. Yeah. Like, Snarl would be a good character to bring in. To counter Heat, to, to uh, counter Heat Wave. But, I mean, he's dead and good, but we don't know, and we don't know. Yeah, the only way you can see that is they go into a time where he's alive, which we, and they just pull him out. Which they, they went to that time last season, you know? So, I don't know. We'll see. I say, you got anything else? Um, not really, except for that they skipped the Temple of Doom. They did. Like, they were like, I'm assuming, like, we were talking about, like, they're watching Star Wars, right? He's yeah. Like, okay, we'll watch Raiders after this. He's like, okay, and then Empire. He's like, and then The Last Crusade. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, and then I think they said Return of the Jedi, I think it said. If I was going to have, like, a best of Lucas movie night, I might skip <laughs> Doom. I didn't really care for Temple of Doom as much. Yeah. A lot of I mean, people it's, liked it and stuff. It was, yeah. just, it was a lot darker. Different it was different. Feel. Last Crusade was, like, one of my favorites. Yeah. And I also liked Raiders of the Ark just because it started it all, but I loved Harrison Ford and Sean Connery together. I get you. Junior? Yeah. They're trying to kill us. <laughs> I know, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, I'm, I'm curious to see what people were saying uh, Q&A wise. My brother, Kenny, Agent 79, he, he sent me a text that said, spoilers, don't read this unless you've seen Legends. And it says, you may have already had this discussion, but if you had the chance to meet a young George Lucas, what info would you give him? A, no Jar Jar. B, teach him romance dialogue for the prequels. C, talk to him to not killing Boba Fett. D, talk to him into selling to Disney earlier than he did so we get a new movie every year sooner or something else. So if you met a young George Lucas and you could like give him a, some advice, what would you do to try to change? I don't, I don't know. Stories? I'd be worried that I would change things for the worst. Yeah. You know? Like what if you alter him on a course? He's like... Well, all these people hate me in the future? Yeah. Like, maybe I shouldn't make it. I wouldn't this. change the Jar Jar. I like Jar Jar. I like Jar Jar. Um, um, the romance dialogue's not great, but I don't watch Star Wars for the romance. Also, I always thought, like, for me, like, Anakin was very awkward with that. Yeah. But, like, he grew up as a little kid, which is his mom. And then a Jedi. Then he turned into a Jedi, and he has no, like, real social experience yeah. with, like, talking romance or anything. Like, to me... It's... Same thing with uh, 
with Padme, I mean, she became a, a like a junior senator at fourteen. You know, it was always like responsibility. And then before that, she was groomed by her parents and stuff like that. They were all really. I just good. for me, like I know everyone always talks about that, but I always always felt like the the reason it was played out the way it was is that neither one of them really had experience True. in that. So like, of course, you have, your first time like talking with girls, okay, of course you're gonna be awkward. True. So that's why that's why it felt. There's awkward. also something to be said about the idea that it was he was going way more space opera in the prequels because it's, there's so much grandiose things happening. Like it's it's directly causing problems and and there's there's like the forces is swinging like it's it's very opera like whereas Star Wars the old Star Wars is more adventure and and family drama. This one is political intrigue and the force moving in such great bounds and Palpatine tricking everybody and war, you know. Mm-hmm. So there's something to be said about that too. Honestly, I think if I was to try to give him anything, I would tell him not to influence Spielberg after The Last Crusade. Yeah? <laughs> like, let if Spielberg was going to make a sequel to Indiana Jones, do it without the extra-dimensional beam kind of things. I like it being more, like, everything else was based on, like, I don't know. I don't. I don't know anything about Crystal Skull history of that, but I felt like it went a little too. I get you. Sci-fi, even though it's always had an element of sci-fi, I felt like it went a little bit too far. Uh, what would I tell George Lucas? Honestly, the only thing I'd want him to change is, uh, even though uh, people would say that his his reliance on digital technology is a crutch, I would say, well, that's false. That's he actually did what he did for effects in the '70s and '80s. And he, he did that now. We couldn't do the stuff we did yeah. if we didn't. The prequels weren't made the way they are. But I would have him shoot episodes two and three on film, and not digital, because they'll only ever get as good as 1080p. Yeah. We'll never have 4K of them. Well, they can upscale it, but it'll never be true 4K. Yeah. So that's, that's the only thing I would change. Colt said, George Lucas, and a bunch of crying happy faces. Yeah. God damn it, they changed Star Wars. <laughs> I wonder if there was any changes. <clears throat> I don't know. I wonder if he. I wonder if he. I wonder if that inspired him to make it the way it is, or if that altered it at all. In like there would have been a really funny opportunity to have like some kind of shoot first debate. Like now I shot. Now you shot. Now who cares? Let's go. You know, and Lucas is like, I don't know who shot first. And then like in his head, he is like questioning. Like maybe I should have had Greedo shoot first. You know what? And changes it. You did have uh, Malcolm and Dark up top, and like. Why don't you shoot one of them to da da da? Well, who should we shoot first? I don't know. Dealer's choice. Well, like, maybe I guess that they, is a I little guess they did kind of like... do that. Because I was thinking, like, it would be funny if they did that. That way, like, Lucas, the character in this, would have an internal struggle, like, where he has Han shoot first, and he's like, yeah, but that kind of reminds me of those guys, and they <laughs> shot first, and they were not good, and maybe I should have had Greedo shoot first, and then he goes and he changes He changes the guy. And then he just can't make up his mind. <laughs> Maybe that is how it is. Yeah, maybe. Huh. Um, Seventh Hour Film says, should the CW release an actual Rip Hunter movie? I'd love to see how it plays out being loosely based on L.O.T. Uh, that would remind me of, uh, in The Office, Michael, like, in, early in the season, or seasons, he's writing a movie script. And then before Steve Carell eventually left The Office, they did an episode where they showed the movie he had been making for the last 10 years or whatever. Oh, really? And they actually... That's where he went, went yeah. to go make this movie? Well, no. Uh, oh. They mean, like, like he was making it independently with all the people that was in the office and stuff like that. They were just doing it sporadically throughout the seasons, you know? You just don't really see it. But eventually, he's, like, done with the movie and he's ready to show it. So they do a normal episode, but everybody's, like, watching the movie and then there's, like, stuff going on. But they piece together like you get to see parts of the movie as it happens and then online they release the full michael scott movie mm-hmm. like you can watch it and it's a it's it's stupid and silly and it's, but it's well made it's well shot and stuff but uh it's really funny hmm. so it would be it kind of remind me of that if they did something like that yeah they but i don't think all new actors and yeah. stuff and just yeah it's a silly version of the movie but uh it, they wouldn't be able to they, they, there was nothing here shot that they could piece together. They'd have to actually make it. Whereas the movie that they made, they were able to, like in, in The Office, they were able to shoot the actual movie and use it in the television show. So it was a little easier, So like budget-wise. In the show, like you see them like <laughs> filming clips of the movie in the show? No, like in the show, it's, a, you know, like at the beginning of the episode, it's like, well, after, you know, 
five years of editing or whatever. He's like, my movie's finally done. And then he invites everybody in the conference room to watch the movie. And then they'll, like, they'll watch the movie for like five minutes. And then something will interrupt them, you know? And then later they'll come back and they'll start watching the movie again. So you're actually watching the movie with the, the characters mm, okay. that were in the movie. So like everyone's like, you know, uh, Andy will pop up as a bartender and then it'll go to Andy watching being like, it's me, <laughs> you know? It's really, really funny. That's cool. Um, Lucky 13th said, <clears throat> how different would your own lives be if George Lucas never made those movies? We talked about it earlier, but there would be no blind wave. Um, I would not have been inspired to uh, be a storyteller or I, mean, I wouldn't have played so much outside when I was a kid that I then wanted to become a storyteller. Yeah, I don't know. Like that, like, like, like that's so important in terms of imagination. I remember like as a kid, like so much of my childhood, like revolving around stuff from Star Wars yeah. or games from Star like, Wars. I would have or... loved, still loved Ninja Turtles and I still mm-hmm. loved Power Rangers and, I would, and I would Batman. Like, yeah, James Bond. But, there's something so special about Star Wars specifically that informs so much. Well, yeah. Like if that movie weren't there, I mean, I've literally watched those movies. Like I've probably watched the original trilogy over two, three hundred times. I probably would have never slept. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. You I use it every time I went to bed. I would yeah. like just put on like it was a tape that had the original trilogy, yeah. all three on it, and I'd watch it. Oh. I don't know. I mean, we wouldn't have had all our choreography sessions and stuff. No, I mean, I wouldn't have had my group of friends in high school. I wouldn't have had the choreography sessions. We wouldn't. You guys wouldn't have been doing stuff. We never would have met. You you, you went to different high school than I did. Yeah. We could have maybe gotten together because of Smash Brothers, but I don't think we'd be going into any kind of film stuff like we did. Maybe. Because that's kind of what first started bringing us together a little bit was games and playing Smash Brothers all together. Maybe. But then we started doing, like, choreography and the videos and all that kind of stuff, and that kind of grew us more. So I don't know. We wouldn't have reacted to the first the Force Awakens trailer, which like helped us out early on the channel. Yeah, on on this channel. It's so uh, if you go right now to our most watched video, it's, it's what it is. Yeah, exactly. Alrighty, uh, Giovanni said, "Where was Eobard, and what was he doing?" Or the writers just didn't know what to do with him. Um, I imagine that he's he's looking for the other pieces. Like they were looking for the one piece that Lucas had, but apparently there's other pieces. Yeah, that's very possible. And also, like, he's just overpowered. And he's what, overpowered. What, you, gotta, you gotta write around that. Yeah. Um, the Jamie said, which hero would you like to join Legends Team next series? And also, who would you like to join the Legion of Doom? We kind of talked about Legion of Doom already. Yeah. To join Legends? I mean, we always talked about Wally. We always talked about alternate Green Arrow from the 2000, oh, yeah, Connor Hawk. 56 or whatever. Connor Hawk could be cool. There's also, like, there's Roy, all the Arrow people they got now. Speedy? Yeah. Dude, um, Arsenal would be cool to join in. There's, uh... Who is... Megan. Megan. Dude, what if she joined in? That would be cool. No, but who's the, uh... Speedster Harry's daughter? What's her name again? Jesse Quick. Jesse Quick. She would be good, too. Have a Speedster in there, and then you don't have to have a problem with what we do yeah, with Yeah, you Earth know, Flash. Speedster's fighting Speedsters. That'd be fun. Jonas said, is Eric happy that he called it, that they would call... be called the Legion of Doom? I don't think he called it. Um... I don't remember. Did you call that? Yeah, I remember... Thinking that a long time ago, yeah, when we started doing this. Talking stuff. about it's got to be the Legion of Doom, because I mean, why wouldn't it be? What else would they be called? They don't really have any other. I mean, they tease the Justice League so fucking much with the crossover that it's only natural to start building a Legion of Doom. I like that Sarah is like, no, I am not calling them that. Yeah, no, I like that. <laughs> and then the last thing we mentioned this a little bit in Flash. We might as well mention it here too, in case someone doesn't watch our sure. stuff. But how do you feel about uh, Flash and Legends Tomorrow being on the same night now? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it makes for a very busy Wednesday morning because we used to watch these, like, at night Mm -hmm. and then be up until one or two watching them, and then we would try to edit them, and then we would fall asleep, and then we wouldn't get it done until, like... Later sometime the next day. The next day or the day after for some reason. So now we're watching them in the morning, uh, except for a couple of the shows, but mostly uh, anything that's live we watch in the morning. Yeah. So, So... it makes it makes our Wednesdays busier, but it gives you guys more time for the Q and A's because you basically have all yeah. all day. It um, also gives Shane and Calvin the day off. Yep, because um, they don't have to be here because they don't watch these. The one thing that we lose is uh, Melanie was in with Legends of Tomorrow yeah. during the first half of the season and stuff, and she's not going to be able to make. And it. you know what? There are a couple moments for here. I was like, I, I wish Melanie was here to see this. Yeah, she probably would have liked this. So. Yeah, um, she's still going to be in Supergirl and still in Supernatural as okay. well, though. So, um, other than that, though. 
that's that's really all I guess for that. And that's okay. all the Q and A's I had. That's everything. Um, poll for this week. Uh, do you think George Lucas has dramatically changed your life? Yeah. Yes or no? I can't imagine anybody saying no. Or, or, or would your life have been affected if George Lucas hadn't have created movies? Sure. I, we'll, I, we'll do this. I we'll, we'll, we'll do this. We'll say, because I'm, I'm sure almost everybody's going to say yes. We'll do this, though. We'll be not at all, some, and a lot. How about that? Because, like, I would say a lot for me. Yeah. But some people might say some. Yeah. Some people might say some not people say at all. Not so I'm going to do that. Yeah, give it a couple options. Yeah, okay. So you guys can go to patreon.com slash blindwave, find the poll there, or hit the button at the end of the video, which is right now. <laughs> oh, it's gone. It's right there. <laughs> oh, oh. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you would like to see more, you better hurry up before Aaron destroys this screen. He's just destroying everything now. Um... Down uh, the, the button for the patrons over there. Uh, I gotta make sure you don't touch the drive. You don't touch the drive. You touch. No! You touch it! Ah!